Well, good day to everyone. It is December 22nd, 2023. I was able to get about two and a half hours of rest. Yes. So now I'm rejuvenated. We do have some weather that has just begun again, and it's gonna be converting over pretty shortly again to some snow, but sadly it's not gonna be much. I'm just, once again, super thankful and grateful that we're getting anything. Anyway, I hope you all are enjoying the videos. Hope you're enjoying the efforts I put into it. I love doing it for you guys. And uh, don't forget, like it and subscribe it to the channel to help me out. Thanks, guys. And uh, if you want some of this cool merchandise that I've got from the shirts to the puffer jackets to the to everything, coffee mugs, hoodies, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. There is a link in the description of the video. But yeah, so we're in Big Bear City. I'm glad we're we're getting some weather during the day so we can do a daytime video. But yeah, it's funny. Right when I started the video, it kind of let up a little bit. But we're going to be doing this whole side of town right now. And I thought it would be pretty cool. We're going to do a little bit of a drive through some of Sugarloaf real quick. And then back down to Irwin Lake and then through Baldwin Lake and back around on the North Shore. And we will be coming back into some pretty decent stuff. <clears throat> right now, as you can see straight ahead, those clouds are looking like they are kind of angry and they have something to say. So we'll be right there. But yeah, guys, I hope you're all doing wonderfully today. As I said, in about an hour, maybe a little bit less than that, we'll, we'll, we'll be getting another wintry mix, and then it's gonna change to all snow. But it doesn't look like much, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys on my, on my app, the app that I use. I wish Ben from bensweather.com had an app. Ooh, look, it's looking like more now. So that right there, you guys see that in the middle of your screen? It looks like, technically it's showing some snow right now, but that's why I'm out here. But later on, about five or six, and sadly, it's gonna be dark. But you know what, it's gonna be awesome. That's when we're, we're gonna be getting some more snow, so. Yeah, but I gotta keep you guys updated always. And look at, these clouds over here look so thick. There's definitely some weather involved in those clouds. Right now we're on Maple Lane, heading into Sugarloaf. And as I said, we're just gonna take a little cruise through parts of Sugarloaf. And then go back down the other way, which is called Baldwin Lane, I believe. I think. To leave this area and head over towards Irwin Lake off of Highway 38. So yeah, this is awesome, 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 awesome. And this is Baldwin, turning right on Baldwin, and we're gonna end up coming down this street straight ahead. Here we got some blue patches up there. Gosh, it's so beautiful up here. I mean, we really do live in such a gorgeous place. As always, I wanna thank you guys for your beautiful, loving comments. It really warms my heart. I love doing these videos for you guys. You guys are just the sweetest friends I've ever had. I really love you guys so much. Okay, so this street, Baldwin, is gonna wrap around to the left and it's gonna turn into Vista. So right where this arrow sign is, and by the way, I've seen a, a few accidents here where because it's it gets super icy where cars have gone right over that edge. Can you believe that? Can you freaking believe that? All right, well, believe that. Believe that. Oh, no wonder why my phone's burning my leg. The flashlight's been on. Okay.
chipmunk running across the street. That little guy. Hey, chipmunk. <clears throat> hey, little chipmunk, my friend. How's my little chipmunk buddy doing? I think that's how they sound. Hey, guys. I'm just a chipmunk cruising around Big Bear. How are you guys doing? All right, so we're going to make a left here on Barton. And this is going to take us where we want to go to Maple. And then back down around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to run down this road. Snap into a Slim Jim. That hurts my voice trying to sound like the Macho Man. Because you know what I'm doing. It's a really horrible impression. I don't even think I get an A for effort. It was that bad. But yeah, guys. After this early evening of weather, I think that's going to be it. And on and off, it's been showing a slight chance of something around the first, around the, the beginning of the new year, but it keeps on going away. And I literally don't see anything else in, in the forecast. This is quite rough, y'all. By the way, this is the little post office for Sugarloaf. How cute is that little building? It's so cute. It's adorable. So yeah, we're on Maple Lane. And when we get up here to Baldwin, we're gonna turn right, and that's the other way out of Sugarloaf. Once we get a lot more snow, we'll be taking the off-road adventure that connects Moon Ridge to Sugarloaf. It's called Moonloaf. It's a really short off-roading trail, but it's at the very top, and it is just so, so awesome. I really enjoy it. I hope you all do, too, when we, when we take it again. They even have a little laundromat right up here. Right here. Oh, wait, no. There it is. It's called Sugar Tub. It's a play on words. Over here to the left, the left of that van, that's the high school. That whole area is Big Bear High School. And here's a little park that we've got here. Sugarloaf Park. They've got a baseball field, they've got swing sets, and a lot of swings, a nice picnic area, and they also have a skate park, which is pretty cool. And I think a, a little dog park, a little tiny little dog park area. Man, it's so beautiful today, oh my gosh. I love, 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 love it. I love, 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 love it. I love, 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 love it. I freaking love it. I love, 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 it didn't even have the common courtesy to hit 39 for us. It just want, It just said 40. Signal, 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 buddy. Can't stand that. I really can't. But who am I to be upset at someone about stuff like that, right? Who the heck am I? And we're finally starting to get some more moisture falling down. As you can see, it just looks really, really nasty over here. And I love getting the moisture. It is fantastic. So we're gonna go to the very end of Irwin real quick. And then come back, uh, as I said, and then drive through Baldwin out to the very back of the valley to where you're about to head down the mountain and take North Shore all the way back. Okay, this is State Lane. We are on State Lane. You gotta like State Lane, folks.
So this is the infamous Irwin Lake. This is very far away from everything else, you guys, but it's very quiet. And usually you have some beautiful views of mountains right there, but you can't see the mountains because of being socked in by these clouds. But it's so beautiful over here. If, if I could, you know, if my business didn't have to do with a lot of driving, and again, it's got nothing to do with our YouTube channel, um, I could live over here, but where I live right now, it's equal distance to both ends of Big Bear Valley, which is pretty fantastic. But wait till you guys see when this road turns into a, a dirt road. There's a huge equestrian area on the left-hand side. It's just, it, it transports you to a, to a different place. It's really awesome. So I thought we would check that out real quickly. Real quickly. So once we get onto this dirt road, you guys will see to the left, it's just so awesome. Just so awesome. way too far away from everything which is just the unfortunate part for me we're just gonna do a quick little loop through here and then head back out yeah we're starting to get some some good drizzle over here I'm hoping when we get to Baldwin it'll be getting a lot more wet but it should the further we go back all right let's see here all right guys Let's do this. All right, so once again, this, this view right here, you guys, is just something else. I mean, look at that. It is just so pretty. And it's just a big open space that you would never know is up here unless you know this town, right? How cool is that? heading back out of here as I said we're gonna drive through Baldwin again I usually love doing the Baldwin drive and then going all the way back to the dam to show you guys the big bear snow rule again for the for, for the for those of you who don't watch all my videos I coined a term called the big bear snow rule which means that consistently consistently every storm one side of town when it's only an eight mile difference as the crow flies from the dam to the other end of town where you start to drive down the mountain. Every storm, one side of town will always get more snow, a lot more snow than the other side of town. It's pretty amazing actually. And I love showing you guys. upload all the videos at my house because I've got really fast internet there. 
I can't do it f from the hotel or it'll take literally about a whole day just to upload one. still hovering at 40 degrees. We are gonna cool down. There's a big raindrop that just came down right here. It's not out of the question to see snow at 40 degrees. I've seen it numerous times, especially living in Denver, Colorado. It would snow at 42 degrees. Not not every time, but because of just such, such major differences in the layers of the atmosphere, different temperature differences uh, and drastic yeah like a lot of times just right above the surface maybe a few hundred feet up it'll be a lot colder and so the snow won't have time to melt from that point by the time it hits the ground so it'll still come down as really heavy wet snow so I'm hoping we see some of that And you know what, as we head into Baldwin, we're gonna check out another little nature area on our way to Baldwin. Again, a place a lot of people do not know about. It's another equestrian area that is just so, so beautiful. We're technically entering Big Bear City now. So at this next street called Zaka Road, we're on Highway 38, you guys, which is one of the major ways in and out of town. But we're gonna turn right on Zaka Road take this down to the end and then it'll drop you off and do a really beautiful beautiful once again just nature preserve type of an area it's so pretty and then we're going to drive through Baldwin and then head back into Big Bear Lake There's a good chance we'll see a couple donkeys along this drive as well. But yeah, look at this. This equestrian area, it's beautiful. This whole area is all horses and stuff like that. Horses and cows. And, and when there's snow on the ground over here, you guys, it is heaven on earth. of you still watching this long into the video don't forget to go to my uh, instagram page big bear weather and more and sign up and then uh also if those of you who have purchased merchandise if you're willing to we would really love it if you took a selfie wearing your merch or if you bought like a coffee mug holding your coffee mug and uh dming us on the instagram and then we were gonna i think my my partner wanted to make cool little video of a lot of people wearing the merch. And we do have a giveaway that we are coming up with right now. I don't know when we're going to do it, but just be, be prepared, you guys. Basically, the giveaway is going to be a free stay at an Airbnb right over by Bear Mountain. This place is awesome. It's very, very cabiny feeling. <laughs> it, it's it's peaceful. I've stayed there. It's really, really peaceful, really cute, really quaint, and they have a jacuzzi also. Um, and we're also going to give away some free merch for the people who win the giveaway at the Airbnb. All right. So now we are on a road called Shea Road. 
we're entering Baldwin Lake right now. But yeah, I can't wait to do that Airbnb giveaway. As I said, you'll be getting some free merch with that also. And and the merch is quality stuff, you guys. So it's it's not like cheap, cheap stuff. So you'll be you'll be really making out like a king if you win. Cross, we uh, come into some donkeys up here. That'd be kind of cool. That would be very, very cool. So this is the part of town when it comes to precipitation that it's significantly less than where I live and even further closer towards the Big Bear Dam. As I said, if, if we had a good snowstorm, it would be so cool that I could show you guys the Big Bear snow rule. Because even when there's like four or five inches of snow at the Big Bear Dam, this is how it might look over here. And then you'll just see small patches of snow. It's pretty darn cool. favorite little parts of this drive driving through this this little part you're welcome man I work hard so thank you for saying that okay and then to the left is Baldwin Lake Wait till you see this little descent of the clouds as soon as we make this little turn here. It's really cool. And it's drizzling now again, which is good. But look at that. Look at look at how the clouds sank down like that. And it looks like it's raining on the other side of this lake. Yes, yes, yes. It's 41 degrees. so beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at how pretty that is. Definitely feels a lot colder than 41 degrees outside, let me tell you that. We are on Baldwin Lake Road. I got a good friend who lives on this next street. 
make a right. One of these little dirt roads will take you way deep into the wilderness. It may be more than just one, but I, I, I can't remember which one. But yes, we're starting to get some of the weather again. Temperature's back down to 40. Oh, we're getting some ice. We're getting a wintry mix over here, folks. Yeah, boy. Sweet, some ice pellets falling down. Let me turn on the defroster. We're gonna need it. Oh yes. It's so cool how quick it changes up here, guys. I mean, it is quick. starting to head down the mountain into the desert. So we are on the complete opposite side of town from where we started. Oops. Wonderful, my phone wasn't plugged in the whole time and I thought it was. sign right here it says left Big Bear Lake right Lucerne Valley I'm hoping most of these people turn sweet sweet That's Baldwin Lake, you guys. Look at how pretty that is.
that out there. So we caught a little bit of rain. We caught a couple little ice pellets coming down. Isn't it just marvelous, you guys? Just so special. So we are on Highway 18. When we continue on this road, once we pass Greenway Street up here, this turns into Highway 38. So you gotta be paying attention when you're up here, guys. Because these roads, I don't know what they were thinking. drops before we get back. At least that's what the sky is telling me right now. Okay, so you can see the signs on the side of the road showing that this is Highway 38. I'll show you guys exactly where it changes. I think we, we just, I think we just passed it actually. Darn it. Oh wait, no. Now it's Highway 38. It was 18 until we crossed that street back there called Greenway. Darn it, I wanted to point that out. I was focusing on that. gas money ferry pops up <laughs> actually work's been really good the past few days so I'm all good in the hood I'm very grateful sometimes it's really slow and sometimes it's really busy I guess it kind of evens itself out jumps back up to 41. It really is trying to stick right around that 40 degree range. The time is exactly 2 p.m. This video should probably be uploaded by, I don't know, maybe 3.15ish. I 
and then if that snow is supposed to happen, we'll be back out recording that. You know I will. Okay, we're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff. This is where we're gonna make a left and cross over the lake. Or the, not cross over the lake, we're, we're at the very end of the lake here. On one side of the lake. But this is one of the ways you get from North Shore to South Shore. And let's take a look at the lake, folks. Wow, you guys, that is so beautiful. I am so lucky to live here. Anyway, guys, thank you as always for cruising. Obviously, when the weather started, we went out because that's what we do. Sometimes it turns out to be a lot more and sometimes it's 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 like it was But we saw some rain and some ice pellets and yeah, hopefully next video will be snow Love you guys. Thanks again for cruising. If you like what I do, please help me like and subscribe Share the videos all of the above would be very helpful. If you want any merchandise go to bigbearweatherandmore.com And you'll be stoked You'll be stoked. I appreciate you guys very much I will talk with you guys later, and it is December 22nd, 2023. The time is 2 o'clock in the p.m., and uh, yeah, get ready for some snow.